Hey, what's going on folks? This is Hellbent, and today I'm going to release the newest update to my bitmap maker. So let me go through uh, all the new features. Uh, as usual, there'll be a link in the description to where you can get the newest copy, and it's going to be a copy and paste. There's no nothing to download. You just paste it into a new script, run it, and then you get this. Uh, so let's go through the new updates. The first update is you now have the ability, once you have saved a bitmap, so for example, if I have this one here, rather than having to go into the folder structure to get the, the function for it, I can now select it from the list here and put it into my clipboard. It'll beep twice and let me, to let me know that it's in my clipboard. Now I can go to whatever script I have and I can paste the function directly in. And then if I run it, I get my window. Okay, so that's the first update. The next update is I've added a lock and the ability to adjust the smoothing level for a bitmap on the fly. So now you don't have to worry about accidentally pressing one of these things. Um, while you're working on something, you can just lock the control, close it down, and you're good. Um, another thing is I've added in defaults. So defaults are always existed. Um, they're the values that it starts, everything starts off with. So let me. So a bitmap has its defaults, like its x, y, width, and height, and smoothing. Right, every t so that way I can create a new one. When I create new elements, they all have their own defaults, like it's X, Y, width, and height. It has different brushes, different brush colors. All of these have defaults. So now you can adjust those and save them to a file, so that way the next time you load it, it's in there. So you go to the Defaults tab, and you make any adjustments you want to it. If you just want to make changes to the defaults for the project you're working on while this program is running, just don't hit save and it'll only apply until you close the program down. So for example, if I want Hellbent to always be the text, but right now I just want it to be HB, no problem now if I go create a text element, its default text is going to be set to HB. If I want the font to be bigger, font size to be bigger, for this time, every time I add a new element it'll be that. If I want to change it the the brush colors or the brush type etc etc. So that is one thing. Uh, another thing is now you can clone elements so once I have an element created I can clone it and it'll create a duplicate of it. So if I want this cloned all right. Um, with the line brush and the gradient brush, or a great, uh, line brush from Rectangle, you can now use your cursor to set the positions for the colors. So it's got two different positions. It's got for the lines, it's got X1 and Y1, and X2 and Y2. And for grade, it's got X, Y width and height. So if I want to set, it's got instructions on a tooltip to tell me what I have to do. And I can set that however many times I want. And then Alt. So that's for the grade and lines brush. The other thing I've added in is I finally added in the fill polygon. The control panel here isn't been connected yet. So this, this control panel doesn't do anything yet. But what you can do is it comes with a default triangle that I made it draw. And then you can just clear that, add points, and then move your cursor to wherever you want to draw. And then hit shift to add a new point. And then control to finish. And then you, of course you can change it to whatever kind of brush you want. So there. and set that whatever um, that's for polygon 
Um, cloning that wouldn't really do much right now because you can't maneuver the points. But you can clone it, but it's not going to really do anything. Um, and then there's lines. Once again, it starts off with a triangle. You can clear that, add points, shift to add new points, and then control to finish. Um, uh, the bezier, I've made it so now you can add, you can control all four points on the bezier. Etc. Etc. Um, let's see. Text no longer. Text now uses brushes, so you can change text to be uh, gradient colors or whatever you want. Um, if you have any previous files, it might mess up a little bit of the text to begin with. So, for example, if I take here is a project I made before I made the change. So if I load that, uh, apparently I've already saved that change. Um, yeah, apparently I've already saved the change. Let me see if I can find one that hasn't been Okay, this one here. This one here should have text that is white on top, but it's giving me a line brush for that for that particular text or a gradient brush for that particular text. So, in order for me to fix it, I just have to go back to normal. And then I can save it and I'm good. Everything else about the text should be fine. It's position and everything else like that. Um, so this this is backwards compatible with anything you made before. Uh, so let me see. I think I think I've pretty much covered everything. Um, the next update, I might start integrating some new controls. I worked out. I made a I made a set of buttons that um, I've created a little window to start reworking the the bitmap controls so if I come here so I'll start replacing this with something more like this I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it locked down there or have the ability to move it around wherever you want but uh, that's probably going to be start working into getting custom controls for all the buttons and everything else, not like that. But that's it for this update. I will see you guys on the next one.